Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, we definitely will need to factor something out first. Notice we have numerical coefficients that are even, which means at the very least we can factor out a 2. And notice that every term contains at least an x and contains at least a y. Since it's x to the first and x to the first, uh, y to the first there, the maximum we can factor out with x and y is just x to the first and y to the first. But what about the numerical coefficients? Notice that if you sum up all the, the um, numbers, 1 plus 8 is 9, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 plus 0 is 3, that sum, they're all divisible by 3, which means all the numbers are divisible by 2, they're also divisible by 3, which means they're divisible by 6. We can factor out a 6 as well. So this can now be written as 6 times x times y. That looks like the common factor. And what we have remaining is... Uh, that would be a 3x plus a 2y plus a 5. And notice what we have left here. We do have a trinomial left, but it is not factorable. That is the last step. We cannot factor it anymore. We can factor out a common 6xy, but that's it. We cannot factor what is remaining. And that would then be the end. The most, that's the factored result of our original problem. And that's how it's done.